everybody. You're watching Real Life with Michelle, and I'm Michelle. If you want to find out how to get that job you absolutely love, I can tell you how to do that. And it's easy peasy. I never say easy peasy. I don't know where that came from. Well, anyway, let me set this. Let me set the scene. I I had worked as a bus driver for a, a public school district for 13 years, and I had due to unforeseen circumstances or circumstances that at the time were good, I quit that job and I, and I moved out of the area for a little while. Well, things didn't work out when I moved out of the area, so I moved back in with my, I moved in with my parents actually, um, me and my daughters, and I was looking for a job. Well, I, I started looking, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be a bus driver anymore. I, didn't, I did not want to be a bus driver anymore. My back hurt really bad. This was before my back surgery, and and it was before my neck surgery, and it was painful. I didn't for want me to drive a school bus. So I went and I started looking in the help wanted ads, and I started applying for jobs. Had a resume, sent out resumes, but you know, on my resume I had school bus, school bus driver, and I was. It had it I had it in home daycare for a, oh quite a, a long time this was prior to that so I didn't have much other experience so I had a few interviews at those other jobs and they you know they just didn't hire me so I opened up I'm still looking I'm still looking so I opened up the paper one day and BAM all I saw was help wanted school bus driver and it was like it, it was in the normal print, but to me, it, it was the only thing I saw on the page. It was like huge. It was huge. It was the only thing I saw on that page. And I'm like, mm -hmm, nope, don't want to do that. So I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking. And I go back and bam, there it is again. Help wanted school bus driver full time. Now, to get hired as a school bus driver full time isn't a normal thing. Normally, you have to get hired in as a substitute driver. And then you work your way up to a full-time driver. Well, this was a full-time bus driver job. And I'm thinking, oh, don't want to do it. Now, to, to preface this, I had been praying about this. Praying and praying, God, help me find a job. A job that you need me to do. A job that I'm going to like. A job that, that just you need me to do. I'm willing to do whatever you need me to do. So been praying about this job and boom here it is in the Tribune school bus driver help wanted I'm seeing that only out of, out of everything else on the page that's what I saw so I prayed about it some more and I'm like all right I'll do it I'll send in my resume so, I got my resume put it in the envelope be drug begrudgingly that, that's a word I think be, begrudgingly ah yeah I filled out the envelope put the stamp on it, went out the door, half stomped to the mailbox because I didn't want to do this, but I was doing it anyway. So there's me talking to God on the way out the driveway. God, I really don't want to do this. I really don't want to drive a school bus. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts me to drive a school bus. I don't want to do this in the mailbox. I put the letter, put the flag up, walk back in the house. I'm like, oh, I did it. So I did it. let's talk a couple days later maybe three days later if that the phone rings it's for me hello yeah I could be there sure mm-hmm yep what time what day yep sure enough I'll be there thank you hung up the phone and I'm like I got an interview I got an interview for this bus driving job that I don't want all right great that's great so I got dressed that morning and went into the interview and there was probably 13 other people there for this one job, this one job, 13 other people interviewing and, and I walk in and I'm interviewed and everything goes well and I like the people and it just, the interview went good, the interview went good. But mind you, there were 13 other people that interviewed for this job, you know. So I left the interview and I'm like, oh, I did it. I don't, it hurts. It hurts me to drive a bus. I don't want to do this. And they've got big buses everywhere. Don't want to do this. I didn't, didn't want to do it. So I went so, home and about two days later, the phone rang. Yep. 
Uh-huh. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm excited to come to work for you. Yep. I would love to drive a school bus again. Sure, I will. Hung up the phone, turned around to my mom, and I'm like, I got the job. Out of all these other people that interviewed, I got the job. I got this job that I didn't want. Now, mind you, the job was at uh, for driving for disability. It was driving for a disability company, and you know what? I knew nothing about that. I don't know anything about disabilities. I don't know about mental retardation. I don't know about schizophrenia. I don't know about bipolar. I don't know about all these seizures. I don't. I don't know anything about all this. I know nothing. Nothing. So. That's great. I go get all the blood testing that needed done. I needed, I passed the physical. I did everything that needed to be done to get this job. So I'm still praying about it. God, if you want me to do this, you have to do it. Now that's what I'm praying. If you want me to do this job, you have to do this job for me because I, it hurts me. It hurts. I can't explain to you how bad it hurts me. It hurts. It hurts. Okay, that's all I got to say is it, it really hurts me to drive to school. It's the morning of uh, the day, first day of work, and I'm getting ready, and I'm still praying, and I'm getting ready, and it's like 5 in the morning, and I'm getting ready, and 6 in the morning comes around, and it's like I got to be there at 6.30 in the morning. That's normal school bus hours. Great. I'm on that. I get in the car, and I'm still praying. I'm still praying. And I turn my car on, all right, and the radio is on, all right. I rarely leave the radio on in my car ever. I just don't. And I rarely like listen to my radio. Actually, the radio is on. Guess what song was playing? You'll never believe this ever, ever. Jesus take the wheel. So I turn the car on, and Jesus take the wheel is just blaring in my car now so I turn it down and I'm like shocked shocked now now the song is on and I pull out of the driveway and I now the tears are flowing because God that that's my sign from God that Jesus is gonna do my job for me so the tears are flowing the tears are flowing here I am driving to work I, I'm, I'm tears are flowing makeup's a mess and I'm thinking all right, I gotta stop this crying because this is my first day of work. I'm, I'm gonna walk in with puffy eyes and tears and everything, and they're gonna think I'm nuts. These people are gonna be like, who did we just hire? Why is she crying? So, I ended up, I got it together. I got it together, pulled in the parking lot, went in, and everybody was in there waiting, and they're nice, said hi, and you know, everything. And, and I go in the office, and I'm like, I'm here. And they're like, great we need you to do this route. This is the route we hired you for. But you need to know that this is the only route that doesn't have a bus aid. And so at the time, every every bus driver had a bus aid with them because of the seizures, because of the, the, the problems that were, would have arose on their bus. And I'm like, oh, okay. I, at the time, I didn't know what that meant, all right? so. They explain to me the route and the people that are on the route and there's like there's a man on there that has seizures and he has a magnet and then you have every time he has a seizure you have to swipe the, the magnet over his chest and I'm like oh okay I've never seen a seizure never in my life seen a seizure I don't know what a seizure is okay I can do that though I'll do I will do that you know, and then you have a deaf woman on there and, and, and a couple other women. And by the way, they're all Amish. Most of them. Most of them. And I'm like, never know. I don't know what Amish people are like. Good grief. So now I've got seizures. I've got bipolar. I've got a deaf woman. I've got this and I've got that. And most of them are Amish. And I'm like, oh, okay. I can do this. I, I, I okay, let's do it. So. The guy that was doing subbing on the route, just subbing in until they hired somebody, I went with him that day. And I, I'm, I'm up, it, it, I had to, the drive to pick up your first person was 40 minutes away. So I'm like, are you kidding me? Okay, I could do this, all right. So now, 40 minutes we drive and we pick up the first guy. And the driver at the time said, as long as you get to this man, 
he can, he, he can help you with the rest of the route. And I'm like, oh, all right. So now this man that was training me on this route was supposed to be with me for five days. Okay, five days. Five days. I was supposed to be trained five days. I probably would have been comfortable then and getting to know everybody and talking to the deaf Amish woman was a that was another story. <laughs> that was fun. So I get back to the, the the garage after my evening run on my very first day. On my very first day. And the boss comes out and says, Michelle, I need you just to take this route now. I need him to go drive somewhere else. And I'm like, um, okay. I've been here one day. One day. All right. One, one day. One day. I'm driving 40 minutes up into somewhere I don't even know the area and the cell phone service doesn't even work up there I can't even call into the garage okay because we're so far up north that it doesn't work and I'm like oh okay and the boss even said get as soon if you get to the first guy he can help you with the I rest. get to the first guy no problem the next day I get there I'm at the first guy's house and I'm like how you doing He's like, do you need help? Yeah, do you think you could sit in the front seat and like direct me because, could you just do that? And and by the way, I, I've never seen a seizure. So can you like maybe, I, he goes, oh, don't worry. I know all about it. I can help you. It's no big deal. I'm like, oh, okay. So I drive the route around and I'm like, I pick up the man that has the seizures and I've got the deaf Amish lady and I've got all these other people that, you know, are telling me that I, they want pizza and the cows are out there and it's just crazy. Okay. I, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm driving. I, I get them in my second day. Now this is the second day. I'm, I'm nervous as can be because I don't want this guy to have a seizure. I don't know. I haven't been trained on that yet. And I'm just driving this route and I don't want it. I'm, I'm nervous as can be. All right. But I get there. I get into the school, into the, into the school where they need to go or the workshop. And I park the bus because the guy that was telling me where to go said, Michelle, you have to sit here until all those other buses leave. Then we pull up. And I'm like, okay. And I'm sitting there. And, okay. I could do this. All right. So we're sitting there and all of a sudden I hear that guy that's driving, telling me where to go says um he's having a seizure and i'm like huh oh okay okay all right I'm magnet 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 thank god thank god there was a bus driver behind me she was an angel she saw something going on on my bus and she knew that i was new and she came up to the bus and she did it all for me and taught me how to take care of this seizure and said oh i'm so thankful she was my angel she she just helped me, helped me out tremendously so we got all that taken care of and now i know what to do when they're when he has a seizure i do know what to do so i pull up and i unload and get back to the garage and and i'm like oh my gosh and the boss comes out and he's like well how did you do did you do okay i'm like uh, yeah i did fine thanks thank you thank you for thank yep i did just great uh, so that day turned out good I, so I continued on with that job for quite a while that was my favorite job I absolutely ended up loving that job I loved the people uh, I just I loved it so much Down syndrome people people with disabilities they are the nicest people in the world and I learned so much from them they taught me how to love unconditionally they taught me don't have stress because they don't worry about anything. If you ask, ask somebody with Down syndrome or somebody, how are you doing? They'll say, I'm having a great day. No problems in the world. Well, you know what? They have every problem in the world, but they're okay. So, the moral of the story here is pray about it. Pray about it and be willing to do whatever God wants you to do. Because if you do that, you're going to end up with the job of a lifetime. Something that you're going to love to go to work every day. Something that you're going to miss when you leave. Pray about it. Alright, well, that's my story for today. If you liked my video, give me a like and subscribe. 
subscribe and come back for more of these videos. Hit that little subscribe button and there's a little bell over there. And if you hit all, you'll get all of these videos that I post. And who knows what I'm going to say next or post next. I'll see you next time. Bye.